Yo, what's going on, guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Broadway, back again, man, with another video, man. And today, dog, I'm about to get ready to wash my car. You know what I mean? I'm about to get ready to do a mood bang, too. You know what I'm saying? So, before we get this video started, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button for me, man, because I know y'all going to enjoy this video. Ah, ah, ah. I know y'all gonna enjoy this video, man, so make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button for me. So as of right now, man, as y'all can see, bruh, I'm at this car wash. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Get my shit washed, cause my window's dirty, my car dirty, bruh. I ain't washed my car in a little minute. So yeah, I'm about to get ready to do that. Um, but yeah, I kinda wanted to get out the house today. Also, I see that a lot of you guys like those mukbang videos, so I'm going to keep dropping them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm doing another one today. Uh, Y'all already know where I'm going by the, by the title. I ain't got to say it right now. You know what I'm saying? But who else be drinking Snapple? This is probably the best flavor. Strawberry Kiwi, whatever whatever drink flavor it is, Strawberry Kiwi is nine times out of ten going to be good. If y'all like strawberry kiwi flavored drinks or juice or soda, put it down below in the comments for me. You feel me? But uh, let's see. Right now, what should I do, man? Should I do the wash and wax? You know what I'm saying? Should I do the premium? Should I do a basic wash or a touch up? Man, I think I'm gonna do that touch up, man. I really need, I, I gotta clean my shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I got to. Look at my windows. My windows are dirty, you know what I'm saying? The inside of my car dirty, you feel me? So we gotta go ahead and get that done, you feel me? So I'ma go ahead and do that, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back with y'all, all right? All right, y'all, so I'm finna get ready to go in here and get my car washed, you feel me? But yeah, so this shit well needed, bro. Like for real, this shit is well needed. You know what I'm saying? Make sure all my windows rolled up. Have y'all ever went through the car wash, bruh? And y'all windows went rolled all the way up. Uh, bruh, I ain't got my car wash, bro. And like, bruh, months, bruh. Nah, y'all not hearing me, bruh. Like, oh snap, I ain't washed my car in months, bro. I know my baby been needing a wash, man. My baby been need a wash. I'm finna take care of you, baby. I'm finna take care of you, baby. No worries. We finna get you spig and span today, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I don't know if this is true, but does claustrophobic, am I saying that right? Does claustrophobic people freak out when they inside of a car wash? Cause this shit fun as hell. <laughs> oh, snap. My baby getting clean, man. Now the only thing I'm not cool with is that I can't vacuum my car. I don't know why, but they say the vacuum's not up for use as of the moment, so I really don't know what that is. But yeah, man, so right now we just getting, we getting speak and span clean, man. You know what I'm saying? We getting speak and span clean, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all know what's going on, man. Woo! already looking clean right now man come on now look at that come on now my windows clean yeah bro if you ever got blown if you ever got blue old bro if you ever got hit by one of them bro i promise you that shit gonna blow you away bro literally it's gonna blow you away but if y'all want to know where i'm at for all my memphis people right now i'm on hickory hill you know what i'm saying aka east memphis you know what i'm saying so it's pretty much where I came to get my car wash in. So if y'all looking for a place to get your car wash, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come on, man. I need some tire shine. Where my tire shine is? Oh, okay, it's already spraying it on there. I can go now. Say less. So I'm done with that. Come on, my guy. Man, why is the lighting so dark? I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to fix that, but oh, is it me, my shadow? Oh. It's cause I got shades on. Don't mind me, y'all. But anyways, bro. Now I'm about to head to Dixie Queen. So 
make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I done made it to Dixie Queen, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Dixie Queen, Steakin', is it Steak and Shake? No, Steak and Shake. Dixie Queen, Steak and Shake. Who else? Them probably the main two, bro. Main two, bro. Fast food places that lines literally be taken, bro. When you come to Dixie Queen, bro, be expected to sit in line for at least 30 minutes, bro. For real, like, be, expect that. Expect it, bro, because I'm expecting. I'm telling you. I guess I just talk to y'all while I wait in line, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. To be honest, I don't even know if I want to do that. If I, by the time me sitting in this line waiting, I haven't even ordered yet, y'all, so keep that in mind. Y'all want to see the line? I don't know if y'all really want to see this line, bro. Y'all what? Y'all really want to see the line? Listen, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all want to see this line, bro? I'm literally out in the street, bro. Literally, like, look at this, bro. I'm, I'm literally in the street, bro. Look at this. I'm in the street, family. Like, yeah, bro. I told y'all, man. Line stupid long, bro. I don't mind, look. But I can't lie, y'all. Dixie Queen got some fire-ass food, bro. If you like Dixie Queen, go ahead and like this video for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you also, also, I want to say this as well. Hey, hey, the line moving. If you like Dixie Queen, what do you get from Dixie Queen off the menu? Like, what do you get? Let me know down below in the comments. Let me no, but that sun though, you feel me? Y'all know what's going on, man. For all my, for all my dread, for my, I don't know why I can't talk today, but for all my dreadhead community people, man, I will be dropping a new update for y'all very, very soon. This is not it. You know, usually I wear, a lot of y'all been asking me why I wear this hoodie all the time. Let me tell you something. First off, number one, I can wear what I want. You know what I mean? Second of all, this is my favorite hoodie, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, bro, but I'm a hoodie type of guy, bro. Like, that's my swag, my drip. Look, I'm a very simple, but fresh ass nigga at the same time, bro. You know what I'm saying? The way I can really explain my swag, bro, is a, a basketball player swag. You know what I'm saying? Like. Basketball players got the freshest drip, bro. I don't care what nobody say, fam. Listen, I don't care what nobody say, bro. Basketball players got the best drip, bro. They just swag it different, bro. And it be so simple. It be so simple, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. And for a lot of y'all be like, why you talking about wearing basketball player swag, nigga? You ain't never hoop. Come on, bro. Quit playing with me. I right, give you niggas buckets. Yeah, nigga, I'm talking to you watching this video right now. You, you right there, nigga. Yeah, I right, give you buckets. I will pull up wherever, nigga, and give you buckets, nigga. Quit playing with me. You know what I'm saying? DDG, DDG. Get a one on one, family. Get a one on one. For real. <laughs> I'ma get that mind there, buckets. Fool. Oh God. Oh God. Flight. I ain't even gonna play flight, fool. That ain't even fair, fool. That ain't even fair, bro. Flight don't want these. Flight don't want this smoke, man. You know what I'm saying? But them, them my guys, though, man. I fuck with them folks' channels, bro. Make sure, if y'all watch them folks' channel, make sure y'all let them folks know that Broadway been shouting them folks out in my videos. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure y'all probably know them. You know what I'm saying? They been doing this for a little minute. Hey, the line moving. Woo, 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 woo. You know, we getting closer, y'all. We getting closer. We getting closer. Let's see. What y'all want to eat, man? We got burgers. We got sandwiches. We got wings. You know what I'm saying? We got a hot dog. You get your chili dog, too. You know what I mean? Or you can always get a piece of trash can that's right there. But nah. I've I already been talking to y'all for about five minutes. Almost six minutes already. You know what I mean? And I'm still three cars behind before I can even order my food. Hey, hold on. Are they moving? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. 
today's video, bro, is basically, I don't know about y'all, bro, but if you have TikTok, I'm pretty sure you already know, bro. You are, let me turn my hair off. I'm pretty sure you already know, bro. If you got a TikTok, the niggas, my black kings. We, yes, I said we. We are winning. Yes, 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 you know. We are winning on TikTok. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened, bro. Now, don't get it twisted, bro. Let me give y'all a little background, you know what I'm saying, on me. So, I grew up in the hood. I stayed in the hood all the way up to my seventh grade year. Uh, once I graduated my sixth grade year, because the school I went to, the elementary, went up to sixth grade, and then you were done, not fifth grade. So, middle school for me didn't start till seventh grade. I end up transferring, or I end up moving with my pops, you know what I'm saying? And we stay out in Arlington. So I end up going to Arlington, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole different environment, bro, from the hood, bro. I grew up, I'm from the mound, bro. You feel me? But I just stayed pretty much everywhere in Memphis, fool. Besides West Memphis, you know, we don't, we don't claim West Memphis. Shout out to West Memphis, but y'all not Memphis. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just staying facts. Give me something to drink while I eat. I went there and Arlington was a predominantly white school, but it was very diverse, very. And that gave me an opportunity to not only be around my culture again, but to be around other different cultures, you know what I mean? And learning about them. And the thing about me, I thrive. Did y'all see a spit bubble when I said that? Thrive, thrive. I thrive in diversity, you know what I mean? That's my type of crowd, that's my type of people. You know what I'm saying? I like to be around all different types of cultures. You know what I mean? That's just that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I dated black girls. I've dated white girls. I've have I dated an Asian girl before? No, I haven't dated one. I didn't smash one or two. I've dated other girls besides black girls. You know what I'm saying? And so let's go back to TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. When you get on your For You page, a lot of these white girls, bruh, I don't know where it came from. Now, don't get it twisted, ladies. You know what I'm saying? I love all women. I love all shades. You feel me? I love all beautiful women. Catch that. Beautiful women. You feel me? So, I'm all for the snow bunnies to be down for some chocolate. You know what I mean? I'm down for that. Like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You want some chocolate. I feel you. You can never go wrong with it. You feel me? Although, it's just so strange how it's just so many of them. And it's like a, it's like a huge push, bro. I don't even know if some of these snow bunnies are literally into black guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people saying some of these girls are doing it just to get, you know what I'm saying, followers and get a lot of likes and things like that which could be true but i'm not gonna sit here and say that white girls don't like black guys and black guys don't like white girls you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna sit here and say that and i've been seeing a lot of people you know what i mean I, let me say that let me well now i'm going to say i've been seeing a lot of people saying that your preference is being racist now, I want y'all to remember that. We're going to get back into that once I get my food and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's really crazy. And I don't know. It's like I like it. I like it a lot, actually. You know what I mean? Because I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm all for interracial dating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always knew that I would date different types of girls. You know what I'm saying? Neville was going to be that guy that was like, I only date black girls, or I only date white girls, or I only date Asian girls or Hispanic girls. No. You know what I'm saying? Because I am big on personality. Because to me, if you don't have a personality, you boring as fuck. I don't give a fuck about your looks. You boring. You know what I'm saying? Really? Why would I want to be with you when all I want to do is just fuck you? I'm just being honest. So if you don't have no personality, hey, if you don't have no personality, then really all I really want to do with you, if you look good, but no personality, I just want to smash. That's it. But if you got personality and you look good, then yeah, baby, I can I can 
you know what I'm saying? We can talk about me putting that ring on that finger. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't really plan on getting married soon. But yeah, anyways, <clears throat> I'm still waiting in line, bro. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it short, bro, because I know y'all are here for the move bang. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see me eat. I'm actually very hungry, so I'm waiting on this line to move. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the line moving. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's get it, y'all. So look, man, this is where I'm at. I'm almost there, bro. I'm almost there. I'm the next car up, bro, and I'm gonna order my food. You feel me? But yeah, so I see y'all in a second, man. Alright. Hey bro. I just wanna show y'all something right quick, bro. Cause I'm a very unsatisfied customer right now. No, it's not my food. It's not my food. Calm down, y'all. Look at this shit. I just paid $10 in my fucking window, still dirty. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? That's some bullshit, man. Y'all know how I shouted out that motherfucking uh, car wash? Don't go to that motherfucker on Hickory Hill, bro. $10? And my shit, my windshield still look like this? Come on, family. Come on, family. <laughs> All right, guys, so what, 15 minutes later, I got my food, so let me take this shit off. Hold on. Well, no, I just put it under like that. That's cool. Can y'all see me, bro? All right, so I have my strawberry shake. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why they gave me a large. For some reason, bro, it's like when I do these mukbangs, they know I'm about to do a mukbang, so they literally fuck with me. Be honest with you though. If you don't have the jaw power, you're not gonna be able to finish they shakes. Seasoned fries are the best fries, y'all. All right. So. Now that I got my food, about huh? Fire. Fire. All right, so back to what I was talking about. Do you white girl? They want them some chocolate, man. You know what I'm saying? At best, they want white chocolate. So all my white boys out there, look, man. No disrespect, dog. You know what I'm saying? But they want us, bro. They want us. I mean, you should know why. Black guys, mixed guys. I'm not saying white boys don't know how to dress, bro. Because I I got a few friends that know how to, you know what I'm saying, get fresh. But y'all don't drip like we do, dog. Y'all don't drip like we do, man. You know what I'm saying? We funny. There's some funny white boys out there. You know what I'm saying? I dick gang crazy. That's why they really like her. Damn. They know we're gonna put that pipe on them. You're quit playing with it. Baby, you say you want that what? That mandingo. I got that mandingo for you. Bruh. Bruh. These fries good as hell. Do y'all eat y'all fries first or do y'all eat y'all burger first or a sandwich first, whatever you usually get? Let me know down below in the comments. But 
me personally, it's cool to see, you know what I'm saying, that all different cultures can now kind of be more acceptive. Is that a word? Acceptive. I don't know. But it's kind of cool to see other cultures accepting other cultures. You know what I'm saying? I, I know especially down south, bro, like, that shit really wasn't popping like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, interracial dating and shit like that. But over the years, bro, it has finally become more acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because more mixed kids are coming nowadays. You know what I'm saying? That may be the reason why. But all white girls just coming to the realization that we the shit. Like, we really like that. You know what I'm saying? We really like that. We really are. We really like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Y'all tell me. Now, Dixie Queen burgers, bro, are fire, bro. Freshly made on the grill, bro. None of that fake McDonald's ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Not a take a patty out the goddamn freezer and put it under the thing and let it cook. Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Why do certain food places, why do all food places that be dirty or dirty looking, they might not even be dirty for real, but dirty looking, like trash, have the best food, bro? How, why is that? Y'all tell me, bro. I don't know. So I ain't gonna lie. I know Dixie Queen got a few roaches running around that motherfucker. That's okay. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? As long as they don't get on the food, you feel me? Wow, bro. The folks gave me one napkin, bro. Dick's a queen on Mount Mariah. Y'all gotta do better than that. If you work there, hey, do better than that. One napkin, bro? What I'm gonna do with one napkin, family? Huh? What I'm gonna do with that? So, yeah. I think it's okay. And for all the people out there that's trying to make it seem like it's racism or it's racist or. Man, look, bro. People like what they like, bro. You can't be mad that somebody prefers to date this type of person over this type of person. When did your standards become anybody else's issues? If you like what you like, you like what you like. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So how is that even remotely a problem? I think they just hate. Now... For the ones that's on some, like for instance, like I've seen some white girls be on there and be like, uh, you can tell they doing it for likes and shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of y'all, y'all look like y'all will never even speak to a nigga if a nigga came and tried to talk to y'all. But my thing is, and now this is with my experiences. When it come to talking to girls, bro, one thing I noticed, bro, as a black male, it's difficult and I find it hard to just walk up on a white girl and get down on her. You feel what I'm saying? Like I feel like with the white girls and my experiences that I've dated and talked to, we had to be friends first. But like if I see a bad ass, you know what I'm saying, bad ass or a black girl or something like that, you know what I'm saying? That come on bruh. Come on my guy. That ain't shit. You know, you walk hey, 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 hey. Woo! You hey let me holler at you white queen. Uh, what's up with it? You know what I'm saying? You got a, you got a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like this, that, and the third. So you can do that with. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all feel about that. I, I think it's just me, but it might not be. You know what I'm saying? It might not be. But I don't know. Right now, us black males running TikTok right now.
Shit. Who's to say TikTok is not to help push interracial dating even more? The people that be like, uh, I'm tired of seeing all these white girls or whatever, whatever, who say they like black guys. Bitch, is you mad? Maybe you need to hop on the train, bitch. I'm just being honest. Just cause your stank ass I ain't gonna talk to no nigga. Don't mean that this other fine ass nobody that stay down the street from you won't. Just cause your friend like black guys and you don't, bitch that don't mean shit. You like what you like, she like what she like. I have to get ready to drink this shake now. Let me show y'all how strong this shit is. It take real strong jaw power, my guy. See how the jaw sucks in like that? It's the jaw power. I'm about to go ahead and end this video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I definitely did enjoy talking about this with you guys. So go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button for me, guys, if you're new and you want to see more content like this. Uh, if you enjoyed this mukbang, give it a like so for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get like 20 likes on this joint. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all comment down below, man, if y'all eat dicks or queen or not. You know what I'm saying? All the questions I ask, make sure y'all answer them just in the comments for me. Because I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but I've been answering y'all back and talking to y'all. So I, I enjoy engaging with y'all. Woo! So, yeah, man. Make sure y'all do that. But, yeah, man. That's pretty much it. I'm finna go ahead and end this video. I'll see y'all in my next one, man. I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to walk on.